And stakeholders in Nigeria are calling for the eradication of barriers to sexual and reproductive health rights, regardless of status. They attended the Nigeria SRHA 2024 conference facilitated by lawyers elect, which aim to promote cultural and social norms within communities. The conference, attended by advocates, implementers, and key populations, also included sexual minority communities. Panelists called on the government to abolish laws violating these rights. It was an SRHR conference, the first of its kind, uh, at the national level in Nigeria. What it means is that it's where advocates, implementers, activists, and all of us working in the space of SRHR are in the same room discussing the norms and barriers to the enjoyment of these rights in our society, within communities and all of that. What we expect is that by the time we ventilate these issues and discuss them, we'll come up with recommendations on how to bring down these barriers, on how to address these barriers, on who to partner with and who to engage with, who are the actors and all of that within our communities. And how can small and medium-sized SRHR organizations working in our country how can they be capacitated? How can they be made to be strong so that to network and address these issues together? So basically what we're thinking is that um, the big four light is going to be enhanced networking, enhanced cooperation, sharing of resources, flowing from the open and honest dialogues we are going to have here to affect positively SRH and region in, in Nigeria. This conference is about addressing cultural and social norms within our communities on sexual and reproductive health rights. And so it's a... Um, a conversation that we cannot that cannot be overemphasized, that cannot be overheard. It's very important for us to continuously engage the conversation because admit it or not, cultural and social norms are one of the major barriers we have affecting social and reproductive health rights in Nigeria. A young girl, a young girl should have access to contraception. If our young girls have access to contraception, we can eliminate the need for unwanted pregnancy in our society. Culture is meant to promote the dignity of every human being. It is about time that we recognize that and we pay and ensure that every member of our society are protected by our culture, not dehumanize their dignity and their right to survive. When we have SRHR uh, in place in any place that is functional, this will mitigate the challenges that are coming from all of these issues. Women can have information about their body. They can decide what level of reproductive um, channel they want, want to use, how many children they want to have, how many, they can even space their children. But here, it, we find it difficult, you know, to, to have that because we don't have anything enshrined, you know, that is structured, you know, and that is working. And we, we are saying that at this point in time, it is important for Nigeria to have a structured SRHR intervention in place across all the stratas of our, of our society.